so you don't miss any videos that I post. So this week I am having a series of African food that I'm posting to represent my country, Nigeria. So I don't want you guys to miss anything. I'm calling this African week, Afro week. I love these dishes and I think you're gonna love it too. So stay tuned. Today we're making red stew, Nigerian red stew. Now Nigerian red stew can be made with any form of protein. There's fish stew, goat meat, chicken, turkey, gizzard, shaki. Ah, the list goes on to what you put in it, a sort of meat. You can put all of that in there. Now, if you grew up in a Nigerian home, well, my Nigerian home, my mom made rice and stew faithfully every single Sunday. So even till today, I always want to make me some rice and stew every Sunday, especially fish stew and enjoy. So I just kind of want to show you guys my recipe. So stay tuned to seeing how I make my Nigerian red stew. So red stew is a tomato and peppers based type of stew. We're going to start off with chopping some tomatoes, some bell peppers, habanero. Now this is scotch bonnet pepper um, that I use for the stew, but you can also use habanero pepper. There is a difference. They look alike, but scotch bonnet is a lot sweeter. And I promise you when you use it on your stew, you're going to see a dramatic difference. So I use scotch bonnet pepper for my stew. So I have all my ingredients listed at the bottom. So I'm just chopping them up right now before I put them in the blender just so it can blend easier. I'm making a small pot of stew now. The amount of tomatoes and peppers that you put each you blend together is based on the amount of stew that you're making. So you're gonna see the size of my pot later on in the video. But you can also add ginger and garlic. I'm not adding raw ginger and garlic right now because I am gonna add it as a seasoning later on in the video, the powder base. So I'm not gonna do it twice so that that flavor is not too saturated in my stew. After blending my tomatoes and peppers, I'm gonna go ahead and cook it and boil it. I do this first because whenever I start to fry it, the process is a lot easier. Some people go ahead and fry it with their tomato paste right away. I like to cook my sauce first for about 15 minutes and set it to the side for later. And right now I am about to boil my meat. I am using hen. You can use goat meat, chicken, beef, it doesn't matter. Regardless, you're going to use the same seasoning that I listed at the bottom. I chopped about half a, a red onion. I love to use red onion because it is sweeter. And then I just season it with the seasoning at the bottom. And I put about half a cup of water. You don't want to put too much water in there. Um, you just want enough to where you can have enough broth to add to your stew later on in the video. Now, after our meat has been cooking for a good 15 minutes, depending on what type of meat that you're boiling, if it, you're boiling um, goat meat, you might want to leave it in there a little longer so it can get a little bit more tender. I'm going to remove the chicken from my pot, leaving that broth. I'm going ahead to grill my chicken. Now, you can fry it however you want to do it. I'm just going to set it to the side for later and save that broth for later. Now to the fun part of the whole process. I add a generous amount of oil into a small pot, as you can see there. You don't want to add too much to it. And you don't want to add too much oil in it because you end up having to remove the oil at the end because your stew will end up very, very oily. 
So right now I added some onions about, um, if you have like a small on, uh, red onion, you can chop all of it. If it's a, a large red onion, you can chop half of it and put it in there. Now you want it to caramelize, um, have it frying in there for a good five minutes before you add anything else. I have ingredients listed at the bottom of the ingredients that I put inside of there. So I go ahead and add whatever the strongest ingredients that I have um, that are more potent, I put it in the oil to fry first. I do this because um, first I want that flavor to really fry out. I don't want it to be too strong into my stew, but I still want you to taste it. If you, I know that sounds confusing, but there is a science to it. So, which is my curry, my thyme, and my ginger. Um, those flavors are very strong. You can really taste them in your dish. So I go ahead and add those first. And right now I am adding my tomato paste. I added um, about two small cans of tomato paste. And I'm gonna go ahead and fry that tomato paste, um, allow it to fry really well for about a good um, 10 minutes or so. After your paste has fried for about 10 minutes, you can see that it's a lot more mixed in with your oil. You can go ahead and add the rest of your season, which are listed at the bottom, which was my garlic, my maggi, my crayfish, and anything else is listed at the bottom. Um, add, just depending on how much you're making, I'm making a small pot of stew. So I added about a um, small spoon, tablespoon of each um, into my stew. Now, I don't use measuring stick. I just season until the gods tell me to stop, whisper in my ear and tell me my child is enough. So I really, I'm just guesstimating the amount that I'm putting in, into that. It's not too much. I would say about a tablespoon of each into it. Now, I'm not adding my salts just yet. I wait until I add my boiled um, tomato blend and pepper to add my salts because you don't want to add too much salt. I like to taste it later on and then I can add as much salt. Salt is always the last thing that I add in my stew. So right now I'm going to go ahead and add my blended tomatoes and peppers into my fried tomato paste. Now, because I boiled this earlier, it's, you don't have to fry it for that long. So that was the reason why I boiled it earlier. So once you add your tomato paste into that, you see that beautiful change in color. And we're gonna go ahead and add one tablespoon of salt, and you're gonna let it cook and fry for another 10 to 15 minutes. Now you wanna go ahead and cover that lid um, as fast as possible, because once you mix it together, the stew will start to bubble and it might splash on your skin. It's very hot because you do have that oil on there. You're gonna go ahead and add your broth from your chicken. This is gonna loosen it up um, a little bit because right now your stew is very thick. Once you add that broth, it's gonna loosen up your stew a little bit more. And then you're gonna let it cook finally for another 10 to 15 minutes. And now we will add our protein that you either fried or grilled. I, I made chicken, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken to my stew and cover it and let it cook for another five minutes. And that's it, all done.
that's it. Your stew is all done. Go ahead and boil you some white rice on the side and enjoy you some nice rice and stew. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next postings. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you really enjoy this video. And I'm going to catch you guys on my next video doing my Afro week. Thank you guys for watching.